Luke John Harrison here. Welcome to episode 166 of the Daily Boom. I hold in my hand a paper from July the 11th, 2015, where I made the front page news. Running into trouble. Outrageous boot camp boss tells people how to get fit to escape from terrorists. I made the paper for all the wrong reasons. Because somebody didn't like something I'd said. Somebody tried to attack me and bring me down and break me. And at the time, the Metro, the Daily Mirror, the Echo, the Express, the, uh, a couple more papers actually got their hands on the story and printed it as well. And there was a mass online hatred campaign, if you will. For a lot of people coming against me, and obviously at the time, I shit myself. I wasn't confident in the slightest. Absolute anxiety, fear, overwhelm, terror. I thought that was it, my business is done, I'm done, everybody hates me, the world is against me. And you know, there was people, my friends obviously were taking a look at the threads and what people were saying and stuff. I just ignored it because I couldn't deal with it. And they were saying, hey, there's a lot of people backing you up and saying you had a great point in that video. And I just couldn't listen. I was like, I know, but everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, God, this is terrible. Why did I do it? Even delete the video and everything. But you can't actually see the video if you Google it because the paper's got the hands on it. But I stand by what I said in that message. And here's the thing. When you are trying to voice an opinion that you genuinely have and you have your belief systems, there's going to be people that rebel against you who don't appreciate what you say, who don't like that you're opinionated, who don't like the fact that you have a voice and you want to use it, who don't like the fact of your success as well. The reason that got printed was because someone was jealous of my success. And the thing is, <laughs> a lot of people will come what you believe is against you when you're in your quest to better yourself, to share a belief, to share a part of yourself. There's going to be people who say, why are you doing that? What's the point? You're not getting anything out of it. You shouldn't do that. You should do it this way. What are you paying that money for? What are you doing this? The opinions of people. Hey, guess what? Guess what this is? It's an opinion. You know what destroys opinions? Results. Right now, I'm making more money than I ever have in my life. I'm helping more people than I ever have in my life. I am living the lifestyle I once, just four years ago, could only dream of. I just want you guys to know that if you're going through ups and downs and struggles and triumphs, things like this, shit happens, shit tries to tear you down, shit tries to bring you down, shit tries, people try because they don't like that you have an opinion. They don't like that you are getting results. They don't like what it is about you that they see and can't handle. Because all the negativity that comes your way, all the, the negative opinions, the, the, the attacks are a direct mirror reflection of how that person's feeling. Because if, if that, those people or that person wasn't, was in a good place, let's say a very good place, a very calm, understanding place, and could see things from a different perspective, they'd have no need to attack you. It would be like, you'd maybe, maybe make a sly comment, what a dick, eh, what a dick, and that would be it. You wouldn't need to go out of your way to try and ruin that person. But that's what people do. And that's understandable because a lot of the world is in pain. And I get that. I understand that. The thing is, if I'd listened to all those opinions of me, I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be helping the people that I'm helping. I'm in a very, very fortunate position to be able to help a shit ton of people. And unfortunately, you can't truly, truly help people, one, who don't want to be helped. And the other thing is that you can't truly help people by telling them what they want to hear. You tell them what they need to hear. And the voice and opinion of this message was if shit hit the fan and you had to run for your fucking life, could you physically do it? That was it. That was the basic synopsis, but you know what the papers do, they turn it totally out of perspective. And I still stand by what I said. Physically, you have to be able to deal with life's shit, even if that means a life or death situation. If you have to run away from somebody with a knife, you better be able to fucking run, son. Because if you can't, it could be life or death. But this is just a short 
message to every, anybody who might be struggling to, to say that the world is a funny place and the world doesn't like what it doesn't understand and it doesn't like when you show it a mirror. It doesn't like when you show it that you've got confidence to stand by what you believe, what you believe, what you believe and what you feel and maybe you want to voice an opinion to get a result because that's what it's about. At the end of the day, you should voice your opinion to get a result, whether that's a result with yourself or a result with somebody else to make them think, fucking hell, that guy's right. God, I'm gonna make a change. But what will happen is when there's so many negativity, so much negativity around you, you will always attach to that because you'll think, you know, maybe you've helped one person change their life today by the words that you've said. And maybe you've pissed off 45 people. And that one person you won't focus on. You'll focus on the 45 who you believe are against you, but they're not, they're against themselves. But if you can be pro that one person and remember that one person that you helped that time, even if you don't even know them, just think, because I know in my head, I believe, I have a lot of self-belief. Wasn't always this way, it took a long time to get this. This knocked my belief, this, this, this knocked my belief in myself. I doubted myself, I was, can I really do this? Can I handle this pressure? Can I cope with this? Can I cope with people hating me? But do people really hate you? Do you hate somebody? If you do, then there's a part of you that hates yourself. Just think about these words and share this video for anyone that might need to hear them this Monday because more of the world are going through shit than not. And I'm the guy who's gonna tell the truth. I'm the guy who's gonna help that one person while those 200 people rebel against me and think, what a dick, what a twat, what an absolute asshole that Luke John Harrison is. But that one person's gonna go, you fucking changed my life. Maybe in 10 years, I'll look back and say, I watched one of your videos once and it was the most inspiring thing I've ever fucking heard. It was a breath of fresh air. Anybody can be that person. Anybody can be that person. I'm just a regular dude that had a vision and decided to go for it. Burnt out construction worker, anxious, insecure, worried, drug taker, cheater of women, all the rest, all the shit. I, I can hold my hands up to anything that I've done. You can too. You can live your truth. You can live what you really want to become. Because I'm proof. And I ain't that special. I'm just a dude who wanted to do it. Peace out, share these words.